So this is a brand new release from Tamiya. Look at that. It's a Lane Frieda quad track. Why is it called a quad track? Because it's got four tracks. Well, wow, very well That's done. It's going to go absolutely everywhere. I think Traxxas have tried something similar with the TRX4. Yeah. I think it's actually really good fun. But I think the Tamiya one is a lot more appealing because I guess you have to build it, first of all. Yep. And I don't know, I think it's a different type of car overall. So. I was really impressed with the design of the tracks on this yeah. because the bogies actually work. They work like yes. suspension. So I don't know, did the Traxxas ones do that? Yeah, they they're actually quite complex. Yeah, they definitely right. have kind of springs within within the uh, the tracks themselves. So yep. definitely, yes, they, will, they are very well engineered, but this one looks really impressive. So the shall tracks, we have a look? Yeah, the tracks are really nice too because I, I noticed there were two materials. So we've got the harder plastic, which is um, the framework of the track, and the individual track links. And then they're also modeled in with rubber, rubber pads. So if we have a close oh, look from... Okay. Here we go, let's see. So bit from more. the bit more from there. Here we go. All right, so let's switch it over. There we go. All right, box full of bits. Wow. Right, so here we go. So we've got bags full of tracks. So what we've got, we've got three bags. This is just the tracks. So they need to be assembled. Yeah, they do. They're That's individually good. linked. And then, I don't know if you can really tell, but there's a, a sort of dark gray, which is the plastic part of it. And then you've got the rubber pads, which are molded into them. So they're going to have plenty of traction That's on, right. on the road or even off the road. Definitely, it's going to be pretty good fun. So it's all pre painted. Definitely, it's going to be back to black body. This body is actually really nice. It's actually smaller than a. Uh, Tracks as TRX4 for say, so this car mm. is going to be a bit more scale in my opinion. Yeah, because the TRX4 it did look almost too big for the tracks. It is going to be a bit more, I guess, consistent if you like. Well, this is based on a TTO2, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think it is actually. Yeah, I think it is based on one of those. Uh, yeah, TTO2 TTO FT chassis. So it's going to actually be really easy to upgrade the drivetrain and everything else because parts are going to be already available. That's your body here. Well, then you big chunky bits for suspension and such. So you can see the shorter arms here from the TTO2. Yeah, I think this is the body for the, oh, the yeah. front gearbox housing. Gearbox it? housing, yes. Yep. Yeah. You got the upper arms and such. So it comes with a speed controller, as usual. Yep. Yeah. So that's the really good speed controllers that take a brush motor and also a brushless. Got some really nice chrome here. Ah, uh -huh, pretty chromed. Yeah. Super smooth chrome these days. So not the old, old days where you used to see. Little bits of dust embedded in the chrome. These are all super clean. And you've got the uh, the lights there, which you can easily put in LEDs to make them working. So there's a what's that under tray? So that's the under tray here. And that, that's uh, or, I guess, or what that, is it, cover? That's a cover. So that's to protect the car. Ah, oh, from mud and stuff. From mud and stuff. This yep. is actually really interesting because I guess the tracks will actually be virtually within the body, inside the body. So they're yep. gonna, you know. Split up all the up. mud, the flip, yeah. flip all the all the mud and the dirt and stones actually. Yeah. Even if you're not going in water or, or snow, you will have small rocks, and so you don't want to have the rocks going to draft shaft. No, that. so no, that's right. That's a very good idea. So you got that. Well, then, yeah, there's more parts here. Oh, you got, got gearbox bits. Okay, so these are actually the tracks. Oh, they are too. So this is the the the, uh, the bogey bits. bits. That's the bogey bits. Yeah. So you can have the. I think it's gonna have three wheels, right? Three. Got two sprockets here and and one on top from memory. Right. Okay. You're gonna have uh, two parts, two cases, one on each side, and yep. then you have your your gears. Effectively, I don't know how do we call them. Let's see. Are they drive sprockets? The drive sprockets. Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. So. Intriguing. Very much so. It'll be good fun to build this one. All right. And I guess. Let's well, the gearbox. It's and back with the gearbox here. And radio, I guess, the box type of thing. Based on the TTO2 type, you know, battery strap. Yep. Spoke gear cover. cover. Yep. Um, that, What's that? The uh, motor cover with a fan mount? Motor cover with a fan. Yeah, I was wondering that. Yeah, that's the motor mount. Got yep. servo saver server bits. Yep. Uh, so yeah, hexes. hexes. And uh, yeah. Well, what else do we have? That's it. That's pretty much it there. Yeah. So 
So no, yeah. that's going to be really interesting. Then I guess we've got all the, the, the chassis. Yeah. So to me, always very clever how they mold their plastic chassis. You can see that it's actually got the faces of the gearbox housings already yeah. in one. That's right. Yeah. So that way you got a super smooth down the bottom. Yeah. Nice. And it's interesting how they managed to, you know, have this PPO2 out in the market for a long time and now they're repurposing it to be a off road. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess it's it's always been in their philosophy to make really good designs that they can continue to, and to build and repurpose. Yes. Absolutely. And it makes it good for, uh, for the customers, I suppose, because if you have a PPO2, yes. chances are you have upgrades already. So if you were to buy this one, you can put some nice alloy parts and upgrade this one as well. Oh, that's right. And yeah. everyone is familiar all, with it. They all carry over. And I guess for us as the retailers, we actually already know the TPO2 platform. So mm. I mean, when it comes to advising and learning new products, it makes it a lot easier. Yeah, for sure. Very good. That's nice. I like that. So, Something special. That's the next project for BJ. Oh, for me? This, is, <laughs> this won't be a velodrome project, definitely. Well, what would you call a velodrome that goes really slow? It's, it's slower drone. It's, it's slower drone. <laughs>